Hello everyone, this is Ikolka. Reviewing the riding characteristics of an electric unicycle is not as easy a task as it might seem at first glance. Each person is individual, has his own height, weight, fitness, and general life experience. Therefore, the perception of the same product may differ. Therefore, in order not to be subjective, we asked a few more experienced riders to test devices with us and give us their independent opinion. I would like to say that all the wheels shown in the video were bought with our own money. We have no interest in promoting a specific brand or model, and the policy of Ecolka is to offer good and safe devices to wonderful people. Subscribe to the channel, ask questions, and also use the super thanks function to thank us for the work. In today's test, we will compare the following unicycles, Kingsong S18 and S22, Bagode Master and RSHT. Direct competitors here are S22 and Master. In Motion V11 and Bigode Hero will also appear in the video. Therefore, this video can be called the ultimate test of unicycles with suspension. So take off your helmet, put the unicycle on charge, we are starting. First impression. We have a kind of test for the overall comfort of the EUC. It consists in the fact that you can take the device out of the box, stand on it, ride it for a while, and say your first impressions. This test shows the overall balance of the design and the convenience of all components. Next, we test our feelings by giving customers the opportunity to ride different models outside of our store. One of the most comfortable and balanced wheels in our ranking are InMotion V12, Kingsong 18XL, and Gotway Nikola. In most cases, people have no problem getting used to these models if they change from weaker wheels like the InMotion V5F or Kingsong 14D. The suspension in the wheel adds an additional vertical axis of instability, and not every person can immediately get up and go. And even if he does, he usually needs some time to adapt. Returning to our ranking of suspension unicycles, the most comfortable model according to our observations is still the Kingsong S18. The learning curve here is the flattest. For experienced riders, it doesn't exist at all. People get up and go, and for less advanced riders, the training time is minimal. Next in line is the InMotion V11, because of its high pedals. See our V11 video. Further, the podium is shared by Kingsong S22 and Bigode Master. Kingsong because of their wide power pads that not everyone likes, and Bigode Master because of the same problems that the V11 has soft suspension, and high pedals, but adding to this a very unpleasant forward tilt of the pedals during a sharp turn. The first generation of veteran Sherman had the same problem. Perhaps this behavior is only in our sample and it will be fixed in the future, but for now, this is one of the main problems for us. Speed and Acceleration The King Song announcement of a unicycle with a previously unreachable 126 volts had an explosive effect. Many mistakenly believe that the number of volts indicates power, maximum torque, or total wheel force. But in fact, this parameter is purely responsible for maximum speed. Therefore, if you do not want to ride the maximum, then this parameter does not matter to you. Bagode Master has 134 volts, and it's basically a marketing trick to make a little more volts, but the difference between 126 volts and 134 volts is minimal. The maximum speed is affected by the setting of the firmware itself and the security limit that the manufacturer puts into it. Let's say if mechanically a unicycle can accelerate to 100 km per hour, then the manufacturer must limit the maximum speed by at least 20 to 30% to make it safe. After InMotion released the 100V V12 and Kingsong the S22, Bigode's lead in fast EUCs began to decline steadily. While riding Bigode Master, I can't say that I felt any special power. The S22 or V12 show similar acceleration and braking dynamics. Torque Speaking the word torque, not everyone is aware of what they mean. For us, torque is the ability of a unicycle to freely climb on one or another obstacle. But for some people, torque also means acceleration from a standstill, or acceleration while riding. In these usage scenarios, torque plays some role, but not the main role. 
we took our four devices to a 30 degree slope and tried to ride into it without overclocking. The conditions for all devices were the same. Same mountain, same surface, and same rider. As a result of our subjective test, it turned out that the Kingsong S18 drove up the mountain best of all. Then the places are shared by the Kingsong S22 and RS, while the Master showed itself the weakest of all. This is not a scientific experiment, we did not measure dozens of parameters during this test, but neither do you when you're riding somewhere on your device. You usually have a simple task, whether the unicycle will climb where I want it to or not. Suspension We all have wide experience in riding unicycles with suspension, from the first generation V11 and S18. In our service center, we refine and optimize suspensions, as well as test them in the most severe conditions. If a person drove a veteran Sherman and then switched to a Bagode Master, then the difference in the sensation from the suspension will be striking. Since moving elements are still installed in the unicycle, which in any case will change the riding quality. But here we are comparing devices from the same class, V11, S18, S22, Hero, Master, and in fact only Kingsong devices are covered with a real suspension at the time of the release of this video. In the V11 model, pedals are made on springs, which have their fans but still are not a suspension in the classical sense of the word and Bigode tried to copy the Kingsong system, but it didn't work as intended. With great difficulty, we managed to pump up the original shock absorber to 260 PSI, and at the same time, on any serious bump, it will fully fold with the metal clang. While riding with small bumps, the device begins to bounce up and down, worsening overall control. But why do so many riders like the Bigode Master suspension? First of all, the suspension refers to the safety element. It softens unexpected impacts while the device should not lose its driving properties, while remaining maneuverable and sharp. And only secondarily, it should be comfortable while riding. In an ideal world, we would like to have both comfort and safety, but this is almost impossible to achieve. Firstly, the design of the device itself, as the name implies, consists of one wheel, so it will not work to distribute the load between four wheels, as in a car. If we take downhill bikes as a closer example, then there is also no perfect suspension and the whole system is configured individually for each track. Therefore, we get two extremes. The Goad Master has a soft suspension that works on small bumps, but it is absolutely useless when getting into large holes at speeds, and Kingsong S22 whose suspension seems to be too tight and does not bring the comfort that a rider expects. This is where the discrepancy begins. If your weight is 50 to 60 kilograms and mostly you use urban asphalt streets, then you are lucky you can ride the Bigode Master right away. But as practice shows, powerful wheels are usually bought by heavier riders, and in this case, you just overpay for what will not work. The Kingsong S22 has the opposite situation. If you weigh 110 to 130 kilograms, your native shock absorber will suit you perfectly right out of the box. But for lighter riders, not everything is lost. You just need to change the spring to a softer one. The cost of compatible models is from $30 to $50, and installation can be made at home without a specialized tool. Okay, but what if you've already bought a Bagode Master and its original shock absorber does not suit you? The only way is to replace the shock absorber with a branded one from Roche Shocks, Fox or Cane Creek. If you choose the spring version, then the setup procedure will be the same as for the S22. You will need to choose the spring according to weight and riding style, and if you do everything right, you will have to forget about softness on bumps. If you choose an air shock, then the adjustment is done by pumping pressure into the chambers, but at the same time, such shock absorbers are usually much more expensive. Compatible models will cost you $600 to $800. In the case of the S22, you can also install an air shock and get suspension like the S18, but on steroids. Track test. We went to a small forest area where the guys made a track for themselves. The reference indicator will be the heavily tuned Bigode RS HT, since the owner of this device was more used to it. Then, without prior training, he drove two laps on each EUC. Don't stop. And these 
these are the results of this test we got. RSHT 3010, S18 3130, S22 3239, Master 3266. Conclusions After a whole day of testing, we were left in some confusion, so I will briefly say what conclusions we came to. I see no reason to choose the Bigode Master over the Kingsong S22, because you get less directly from the box and need to change a lot of things to make it work properly and safe. If you are looking for a good suspension EUC that will not break your bank, then the S18 still holds very well. If you want to ride fast, then your own skill is fundamental. Then goes upgrades that you install on the wheel for better convenience, alternative tires, power pads, shock absorbers, pedals, and then the wheel itself. If you are a fan of Bigode and want a unicycle from this company only, then get a good old RS. It will save you a lot of time and money. This was Ikolka. Like, subscribe, we only make high quality content.